Hello, my name is Liz Scott, and I am here to help with understanding the Microsoft Copilot environment. This has now been released to smaller businesses, which fits our world. I am a Microsoft 365 user, and we have now enabled Copilot, and I want to show you what we can do. So as an accountant, what I'm going to be creating is a meeting agenda in order to share with my client via a Teams invite to this meeting, and then we're going to review the financial statements from QuickBooks Online, and I'm gonna show you how we can use Copilot throughout the way to create that agenda, to create the summary of what we have discussed during our meeting, and then create a follow-up email in order to put in some action items. So let me share my screen, and you are going to see Copilot in action. So I'm here inside of my SharePoint environment, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new Word doc. And inside this Word doc, I want to utilize Copilot in order to drop in what my ask of Copilot is. So I want Copilot to create a meeting agenda for Rock Castle Construction. I want to include our meeting time, date, and location. And then we're going to be reviewing last month's financial statements um, via QuickBooks online and we're going to be looking at expenses to increase profitability so uh, where can we cut cost and then create follow-up action items for post meeting all right so i'm going to go ahead and ask copilot to generate based on what i have populated my request and then this is going to take a few seconds for copilot to think about what it is that i requested and then start to create our agenda so this is pretty awesome so it went ahead and created a title meeting agenda for rock castle construction i've got my date and time and then it's going to be via z uh, teams and then we're gonna review last month's financial statements, discuss the income and expenses of the company, analyze the profit margin and cash flow. Cool. Identify any issues and discrep discrepancies, strategies for increasing profitability. Love this. That would get a client's attention. Examine the current expenses and create a budget, or if we have a budget, review that. Explore ways to reduce the cost and increase revenue. Set realistic and measurable goals. Yes and then any follow-up action items. So assign tasks and deadlines to each team member, uh, agree the next meeting date and time, and summarize the main points of the outcomes of this meeting. I could say regenerate it if I wanted to, and I could even trash it completely, or I could even say regenerate by putting in some new details if I wanted to add in anything, or in this case, I'm gonna say keep it. So this is gonna be the meeting agenda that I am going to send out to my client in our team's meeting so that way they know what is coming up what are we going to talk about that keeps us on track and it keeps us in that area of we are offering advice and we're giving our clients some realistic expectations see you in a minute with that client meeting Well, hi, Sarah. I'm so glad that you're joining me. Did you get the meeting agenda that was sent over for today? I did. It was so nice to have that before this meeting. It's great. I'm excited. Well, fantastic. So Copilot helped us to create that. And we are going to make sure that Copilot is enabled for this meeting. And so what I'm going to do is inside of my Teams meeting that I'm in right now is select more and then my record and transcribe. And that's going to allow us to use Copilot as we're moving through this meeting on my side. I'm going to see the Copilot. So that is now on and I'm going to share my screen so we can go and look at QuickBooks Online. So using our meeting agenda, we're going to come over here into QuickBooks and I have already got our Rock Castle construction financial statement up. We are looking at last month, January, and it looks like you had some uh, some pretty good design and labor and materials activity for January. So congratulations. Thank you. So one of the things that I see here is about half of those dollars went to materials and subcontractors and then some other cost of goods sold. So maybe some insurance and whatnot. 
that seems to be a lot of dollars. So maybe there's some ways that we could decrease the spending. But oftentimes what I see is job materials just are what they are. And a lot of times our contractors, their labor is going to um, be a cost that we really can't do much about. But what we can look at is some of these other areas where maybe we can reduce some spending. So you have multiple different kinds of insurance, automobile insurance, liability and disability and workers comp insurance. Those are going to be stagnant. Not much that we can do there. We've got some loan interest. So tell me about your loan. Is this something that you're currently working to pay off? Is this a long-term loan? Yeah, so um, it's a seven-year uh, finance loan for a vehicle. And so that's the payment. I wasn't quite sure how to categorize that in here. So um, that's what we did. Well, you categorized it perfectly. I look at that interest and it makes me think, gosh, that's a lot for a loan. So maybe you probably have some construction vehicles. That's you know mm -hmm. what those are. Uh, so you know it's possible negotiating some of those rates so that way you can decrease your loan interest. Uh, we've got some retirement. I'm always you know, here to say bump that up. We're planning for our future. And then construction wages. Tell me about the amount of labor that you've got here, because I'm seeing that you've got about 7,500, plus you've got some subcontractors. So in one month for $24,000 worth of income activity, you've got about $10,000 in expenses. Are there any places that you might be able to cut back whenever you're thinking about your subcontractors and labor? I think maybe the answer might be, uh, maybe we should just bump up our rates. Unfortunately, this takes a long time to do that job. So um, maybe we could, we could see about limiting the crew and, and just bumping up the rates to the clients and really capturing that. I didn't know that. Hmm. So one of the things that we could do is we could look at the different types of construction income, and that would help us to be able to determine if we've got some labor income and we know that we've got some labor expenses, maybe this would be an area that, like you said, you could bump up your profitability by increasing your invoicing on these types of jobs. Your materials, when I look at where your income is coming in and how much you've spent on materials, I think you're doing a great job there. So I agree with you. I'm thinking that one of the areas to evaluate is first your subcontractors in labor. Are there any hours that you've got people working that maybe they don't need to be? Or um, you know, the other part of this equation too is talking about your profitability. How can we increase your billing for this labor income? So lots of great insights here because we want to get you to a point that your bottom line is more of a uh, you know, sustain the family and make sure that you're planning for tomorrow by even increasing some of this retirement planning. Lots of good takeaways from this meeting. So I'm going to say, Sarah, thank you for, for letting us go through your financial statements. The next thing that I want to do is start talking about what can we do with Copilot and how can we use Copilot to help us with some of these um, comments throughout this meeting. So I've got my transcription open and I want to start asking Copilot some questions. So I'm gonna share my screen again so you can see the questions that I'm asking Copilot. All right, so Copilot has got some built-in props. So let's just use some of those. Recap the meeting so far. It's generating a response and it's going to help us with what we've talked about with our financial statements and QuickBooks Online. Nice, so it's telling us QuickBooks Online financial statements and how can we improve profitability by increasing labor and then negotiating loan interest. Uh, there's some good things there. Let's see, what are some action items that we could take away from this meeting? Evaluate subcontractor and labor cost. I love that, that's a really good summary. Increase billing for labor income. So the other thing that I'm seeing here is that it is putting in parentheses, who is going to be the person in charge of that activity? Uh, loan interest, that's going to, of course, be Sarah, the business owner, because she would be the one going to the bank. And then let's see any of these other prompts. So we could put in the, the main topics that we uh, talked about, generate meeting notes. But I think that what I want to do is I want to put in here, create a follow up meeting agenda based on today's conversation. All right, let's see what it creates here, because this would be something that we could follow up and we could send to Sarah, our client, for our next action items. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so it's telling us some follow up meeting agenda items would be review the results of evaluating the subcontractor. OK, so that means that Sarah's had some time to go and look at are any of these contractors maybe overpaid? Do we have maybe too many uh, workers 
that are on payroll right now. Maybe there's not as much work as normal or maybe we're in their January activity. So uh, downsizing and uh, discuss some outcomes. So some rates. So that would give Sarah some time and then feedback on cre increasing uh, labor profitability. So we would bump up our, our invoicing. And then other ways to improve profitability, it's like, you know, making sure that we're always looking at those expenses. There are leaky faucets whenever we're thinking about technology subscriptions or even over purchasing goods. That's something that you can dig into deeper. So I think this has been a very successful meeting and usage of Copilot. Sarah, I always love having you in meetings. So thank you for joining me. From this meeting recap, I can actually see here are my co-pilot activities over on the far left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a follow up agenda by copying what co-pilot had summarized from our meeting. So here's a new meeting agenda for my client and I can in this case actually use co-pilot co -pilot to help me draft this email. So create a meeting summary using the following. All right, so based off of the information that Copilot fed to me before, I'm now going to say here is a summary that's drafted by Copilot. Let's look at it to see what we think. I hope this email finds you well. I wanted to summarize our meeting and the action items as we discussed. Sarah will evaluate the subcontractor and labor costs and hours in QuickBooks Online financial statements. She will also work on increasing the billing labor income. Additionally, Sarah will negotiate the rates for the vehicle loan interest best list. Okay, I could actually tweak this in order to make it a little more personal, maybe put a greeting that says, hello, Sarah, thanks for your time today. And then I could separate this out. So for right now, I'm just gonna say, we could keep this and then put any additional personal touches to this. Uh, best Liz, and then I could even break this apart um, and I could say thank you for meeting today. What this does is it tells the client that you're still actively involved in thinking about them and caring about the activity that they have um, that's important for their business success. This next part is I want to create an agenda for the next meeting. So to do that, I'm going to go over to the calendar and create a new meeting invite and post that agenda. Now, so over here in Teams, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab out the details that are going to be from this follow up meeting. So I can grab that, copy it over and then come into my meeting invite for the follow up conversation with this client. From Teams, I copied my co-pilot summary for the suggestion of the follow up agenda. And from that follow up agenda, I've pasted that into the body of this calendar invite. So my client already has some idea as to who's responsible for next steps. What are those going to be? So now we have discussion topics planned for this meeting. All I did was paste that in here. If you wanted to tweak it, you could put in some additional items in here. You can see that this is already captured who is responsible for which piece of these action items. And then I can send this meeting agenda over to my client and be prepared to rock the next meeting with this Rock Castle construction client. Lots of good uses that are inside of Copilot. I think from an accountant perspective, I like the Microsoft environment. I like the security that I'm getting. And in addition to that, being able to use Copilot in combination with Word inside of SharePoint, having the team's access to the recording, the transcription all in one place allows me to move and those pieces of data back and forth and stay inside of one software. Lots of good things with Copilot. I hope to share more with you inside of this next article and video that will be coming to you very soon. Stay tuned.